YouTube. Sorry, I'm driving right now. So, um, I just I thought maybe this was a perfect time. Well, not really a perfect time since I'm driving, but a good time to let you guys know some little few things that I'm thinking about doing videos on. Um, in this video, I will talk about what I know so far about my new job. Um, I will do another video comparing basically what they told me as far as um, the job description and what I will be doing. Also, um, just any fluff that they give me, you know, like as far as um, telling me one thing and it came out to be totally dear friend, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so that way you guys would know when y'all go and look for a job, uh, whether or not, you know, they basically be um, trying to not to say lie, but lying about, you know, the things that the job includes and stuff. Cause you just never know um, some places, cause of course they're not gonna tell you that X, Y, Z or whatever, because they need workers or whatever. So. I'm going to help you guys out with that and um, talk about that. Also, um, it was another question someone asked. I can't remember exactly what it was. I think it was on my last video or the video before that. Oh, about how hard it is to um, find a job. So, and I can talk about that in this video here. So basically, the uh, facility I will be working at, it is a, um, a rehab place in the long term. So, um, they have skilled nursing there, and I will be on the LTC side, the long-term care side. Um, she called me Monday, no, yeah, Monday, I was off. She called me Monday, did an interview, I was in Walmart, um, basically, um, she just asked me about, um, uh, whether or not I've worked, um, night shift before, because I will be working a night shift, six to a 6 a.m. shift. Um, she could have asked me too many questions because, you know, I'm not a nurse. Um, she had, she did ask me about um, my job history as far as have I worked in a nursing home, assisted, you know, hospital, those type of things. And so um, I have worked at a retirement home as well as a state school so i mentioned those two things <clears throat> she didn't want to know in detail about those she was just you know asking in general um basically she told me about um a couple of the nurses and um i'm trying to remember back to this phone call and um she told me to pay the pay is 22 dollars and some change um, let's see what else did she say. She told me that at the end too, because she also asked me to come in. Um, mind you, I stay in Louisiana. This job is in Texas, like three and a half hours away, so I will be relocating. And so, um, she basically, you know, she she went ahead and did the phone interview because I live so far away. But um, she also had scheduled another time for me to come in so that way I could fill out paperwork and stuff like that. And so I had asked her could I come in that following Monday. And so, um, but she said no. Because, well, she didn't quite say no, but she said if someone else walks in, they will, um, and they can get them the job before me. It's not guaranteed that I have the job or whatever, you know, if I wait so long. So I decided to go on Wednesday. And as you guys know, I was in a red um, AT Lahid me that took the night on my way out there. And um, I was late for my interview. I did call her, left voicemail, letting her know what was going on, kept calling basically, and finally got her assistant on the line, told her what was going on. Uh, uh, they still wanted me to come in to, uh, that day. So I went ahead and left home, went out there, interview, we ended up being at 1 30 instead of 10. So, um, yeah, um, that was it when it comes to that. When I got there, they just basically explained um, the facility as far as pretty much the nurses again, um, what they offer there, um, the practice I would get. The biggest of it would be passing meds. Since 
so I will be on the night shift. Um, she did tell me they have wounds, they get trays. Um, they don't have any right now. Um, stuff like that. Um, feeding tubes, they get all of that. But uh, I'm not sure if they have someone on feet right now or there now. I'm not sure. But yeah, so she was like, yeah, um, these. Oh, and also when I talked to her on the phone, she was also saying how this will be a great job for new nurses um, as well as if, you know, you have kids want to go back to school. This is, you know, be a great shift to do it all. And that in the night you have like three or four hours of break basically to where you're not doing um, anything. It's a great opportunity to learn um, the systems and, you know, and stuff like that. So when I got there, um, when I got there, uh, when I was going back to HR, they have a small building for HR, and I did my um, drug testing. And um, she told me the hallway I would be working on. So um, it was a small hallway, and I'm just like, I'm, you know, I'm really skeptical because, like, the hallway was small, but and um, she told me that another nurse would be on the other end of the hallway. And I'm thinking, like, this is a night, you know? Usually. It's not like that. And it's that one long building. And I'm thinking all of that must be LCC. And they must have the skilled nursing on the back. Because there was another building back there that looked like that building. But I did not ask. Um, I didn't ask her what was that building um, back there. Because I didn't see it until when I um, left. Because I was trying to make sure I got there at 1.30 or whatever. It ended up they, in, they was in a meeting. Right when I got there, they started a meeting. So, but um, I was just trying to make sure I got there because um, Dallas area traffic, you know. So, um, but I made it on time, right at one thirty. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, um, that's about it. That's all they told me. Um, they told me that they waiting on my background check to come in two to three days. Um, um, yeah, and they told me I'll be um, in orientation for a day. Then I'll start uh, training, I think, with the night shift. Um, and I have to go buy some scrubs or whatever. They, they're they not making me wear um, the scrubs for orientation. Or I think when I start, they, I think she said something about they allow you to um, enough, enough time, like two weeks, because I guess the pay for the two weeks. And she did not tell me what days they got paid. She did mention something about pay other than my pay, but she didn't say the two days or whatever. But I think they are set two days. I'm not, I think that's what she said, but she didn't give me the days or whatever. And I didn't want to ask, you know, like I'm all into it for the money because I'm not. But um, the pay is more than I expected. Honestly, I only expected like $20 an hour. And so it's pretty cool that uh, I'm getting more. And, and it's just like, that's why I'm so skeptical skeptical because um i'm getting more than what i spent over 20 dollars an hour like i said 22 dollars is some change and i don't have that many residents and this is long-term care so i'm just confused like are they going to be short like they telling me another nurse supposed to be here but when i get trained or whatever then you know what i'm saying it's like well you stuck out here i'm not coming to work these both your halls you know what i'm saying that I'm not sure and I can almost see that because in most places that is the case you um you're the only nurse there at night or whatever or from what I've been told or seen and so um but yeah also um it did take how long it took me to um get a job so I passed my test um on January 28th well I took my test on January 28th did the Pearson view trick, went in, entered in the wrong um, expiration date on the card, got the good pop-up. Good pop-up is our records indicate that you recently tested, did that a couple of times, got my official results that Wednesday, said I passed, and um, it posted on the Texas Board of Nurses site. I thought I was going to do the quick results, didn't even have to do that, because I was waiting on an email for the quick results. And it, I took my test at 2 o'clock. Two o'clock came. I didn't get an email, so I was like, okay, maybe it's around the time I left out, like 4:30. 4:30 came, nothing, and I was like, okay, 
what's going on quick results you know quick facts quick results whatever it's called and so um I ended up just putting in my name on the Texas Board of Nursing and saw my name and I was just like you know in disbelief like my test wasn't that bad and I, I did say I was gonna do a um, video about that and I still am I promise you guys I'm gonna do a video about what I used to test that may be my next that may be my next video if it's done within a week or whatever um so look forward to that as well y'all and I'm at 10 minutes so I will be ending very soon but um also how long did it take me to, to get a job so I said all that to say because I knew somebody was gonna ask like basically how what is the Prince of you tree never fails so that was how the Prince of you tree worked with the wrong you know in the wrong red um expiration date you go back in and re-register you know the wrong expiration date so got my official results that Wednesday and so um I didn't start applying it to like that Sunday, Monday, um, because I was at work, busy, still like shocked that I passed. Like, not, I was shocked because you know that that one test is what's keeping people from, you know, their career. So it's like that one test I passed. You know, like thank you God. You know, so it took me a minute. You know, I was in shock because you know so many people don't pass like when it comes to like taking it five six ten times depending on the state so you know god is god has been good like you know i'm forever grateful for that it took me two tries that was it first time i really believe it was my nerves according to how i did on the second one because the second one i basically knew i passed but you know what i'm saying like it's just like i'm a nurse now you know and so anyways I applied to um, quite a few different places in Dallas um, area, as well as the place I used to live. I may have done about 15 applications. A lot of them was through a hospital that have like clinics or whatever. I'll say like seven of those um, jobs came from that one place, uh, and they wanted experience. So you know, if they called, they called or whatever is in the clinic. Then I applied at another hospital. I think it was a psych hospital for two positions. They did not call or not. I can't remember if they wanted experience or not. And um, basically, I applied at this place here and quite a few more places. Um, that they called me, like I said, that Monday, this past month, Monday. Um, last Thursday, I did go to the place I used to live in. And they, um, I went to four different places, and two, two wanted to hire me as PRN. I want a full time do your work, you know, go to a PRN since I'm a new nurse or whatever. And that reminds me, I need to call one of those places today because they just called me to do an interview before I went to um, Dallas area to do mine. And so, um, cause I didn't know how it was gonna be, like as far as if I like the facility, you know, this man and other, so I want to keep my options. And so, um, but it took me about a week, I would say. And I guess due to not getting a job just by walking in, as well as um, moving to a different city. Because Dallas area is huge. Um, so I didn't go up to a job and, you know, ask, are y'all hiring? And, or inquire about my application that I already completed. It wasn't that. It was just I submitted the app. They called me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting sick, by the way. Um, and they called me. So that was how that happened. Um, after I landed there, um, like I said, two places in the town I used to work for. Um, another place for uh, um, a psych hospital, 45 minutes from where I used to work at, also called me. Um, well, actually, I, I applied for an RN position. I knew it because uh, I knew I applied for an RN position because another girl who's in orientation now I went to school with, <clears throat> she did the same thing because they didn't have the LBN posted, but they sent her the uh, out once they called her. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to do the same thing. And it's a state, of course, job. And so they get paid once a month. Yeah, the nurses get paid once a month on the first. And the pay was okay or whatever. And so, um, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to wait until March 
as well as they work five um, days a week, you know, eight hour shifts. And if I decided to do that, and let's say for instance, I don't like it, you can't really just jump around a job to job out there. Like the jobs are, you know, it's not that many nursing jobs. So I didn't want to do that. So I'd rather go to Dallas, something new, something bigger to where if I don't like this place, I can go and find another job. You know what I'm saying? And not have to, you know, worry about, well, I don't think I have to worry about it's the distance or whatever, but anyways, but yeah, it's bigger out there. So, um, I also had an interview yesterday at a state jail in Dallas. It's, I think a little bit before you get to Dallas, maybe like 10 miles or something like that. I can't remember exactly where it is. I did not go. Um, I emailed her. And I just, you know, told her I was in a wreck and um, I'm sorry I'm not able to come. Matter of fact, I used that uh, when I applied, when I sent the email to the other lady too at that state hospital, the same thing. Because she told me to email her back whenever I applied uh, for the LVN position instead of the RU position. But um, don't be in a rush. Don't get discouraged if people don't call you back in a reasonable amount of time. A lot of people get jobs in a day, two days, three days, but don't get weary, like I said. Um, someone will call. Nurses, they need us. Um, also, you're a new nurse. It's okay that you don't have experience. Go ahead and apply for that job that you don't think that you would like or you think that you're disqualified. They know that you're a new nurse. They don't expect you to know everything that they know. You know what I'm saying? And if you get the job, you know, just trust God that he's going to help you. And um, you're going to be all right, basically. You're going to be properly trained. And that's what these ladies, the D-O-N and the A-D-O-N, they keep promising that they will train me well. They was like the R-N that's going to train me. She was an L-V-M at first, too. That, you know, they will properly train me. So, you know, it feels good that they speak highly of their nurses and stuff so like i said i'm gonna do another video to see whether or not they standing up to their word or whatever but um i'll say give it a week or two go and check on your applications talk to the people ask them are they hiring um hopefully you get the you get a chance to meet the don smile thank her him or her um you know just be positive show courtesy um and just be respectful as well. All will go well. Um, you guys got this. If y'all want to see another video, just let me know. Um, I'm going to do another video on how I studied. I promise I'm going to do that video. It's just, um, I got to get everything together because, um, I don't know. Like, I was, don't be like me because I was all over the place when I, with my studying and stuff. So, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope he posts because this is over 10 minutes. Usually, this is the longest video I ever done. My videos are usually 10 to 12 minutes long off back. Um, but I am driving, so it may, I'm sure it sounds like I was all over the place at times. But I hope that something that I've said um, have inspired you or, you know, I answer any questions that you may have had. Um, please ask if there are any other questions that you may have like I said I'm going to do an another video about what I used to study as well as once I start comparing what they told me the D-O-N and A-D-O-N as far as the job and what I'm getting myself into after I start so I will do another video because to be honest I don't think I ever seen a video about that um, so I'm definitely going to do that Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, you guys know in the comments, if you leave a comment, I will reply. Thank y'all so much again. Bye-bye.